Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com, and remember, if you have a question for me, head on over to 3DGameMan.com and post it in the forum. This next question is, what is professionally overclocked? Well, this means that a computer tech professional, although you don't need to be a professional per se, and there are very few professional computer techs on the planet, but... This so is what they're calling it, professionally overclocked. A professional overclocks your computer system. Now, it does take time to overclock the memory, the CPU, the video card, and everything else on the computer system. You have to make sure it's stable. You have to you know, run benchmarks to make sure it's stable. It takes time. Sometimes the system will lock and freeze. You have to reboot. So this can take time, and this is why they're charging extra money for it because it does take extra time for them to do it. Now, for the most part, when you see professionally overclocked on a computer system, it probably will not be as high of an overclock as you would probably do to your own hardware because what they will do is they will do a safe overclock. It should be called professionally safely overclocked maybe but that's what that's what happens basically professionally overclocked is basically a tech that will overclock your computer system to or within safe limits i say do it yourself because first of all you'll learn something second of all you'll be rewarded for doing something that you didn't know how to do before and thirdly well, you'll have a computer system that will run sometimes a lot faster, 50% faster in some cases than when it wasn't overclocked. Now, I'm talking about a complete system overclock. You know, I'm talking about everything attached to the motherboard, video card, and so on and so forth. It's amazing how much more performance you can get out of your computer system if you overclock it. You can overclock just about anything, even your smartphone. So keep that in mind as well. But... For the most part, it's a bit of a marketing gimmick, and it will cost you extra money. Now, I say also build your own computer system and overclock it yourself. You'll save a ton of money. However, if you have no time and lots of money, well, sure, get someone else to build it and get them to professionally overclock it. I hope this answers your question and keep your questions coming. Remember, if you have a question for me, head on over to 3 and post it in the forum.